Hey viewers, hey subscribers, and welcome back to my channel, Aquarian Empress Tarot. For those of you who are new to the channel, please do me a huge favor. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below along with the notification bell. That way you can be notified anytime I go live or post new content. Um, this reading, you guys, is going to be a collective reading for singles, okay? So if you're not single, the messages may or may not resonate. So take what resonates and leave the rest. But, but if the reading resonates for you, please drop a comment down in the comment section below and please be sure to give me a thumbs up. Love you guys. So first off, I'm just clearing out the energy here. We got my incense burning and we're gonna get right into the reading. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to do a little bit of a different approach and see what the past energy was for you guys in regards to love. Let's see. Again, let me repeat, the reading will not resonate with everyone. All of the messages will not resonate with everyone. So, and this is a timeless reading, so it can resonate with you at any given time throughout the remainder of 2020, which ain't much left, okay? All right, Spirit Universe, please show me the messages for the collective of singles. Please show me the messages for my singles collective, please. What happened in the, in the past between the singles and their ex? What happened in the past? What happened in the past? Show me the past history. Okay. So right off the bat, we got, ooh, stress. Damn. Look, she, y'all, she's stressed. Okay. So, so th this connection, whoever this applies to, y'all were in a connection or a situationship with somebody that really had y'all like on the fence, constantly anxiety, playing with your emotions, not really sure where the relationship was headed. BS. Okay. This person might not have had their shit together. Could have been a scrub, which we don't want no scrubs. Not on my channel, we don't. Um, and you had to let it go. Look, the relationship was on the rocks. Um, for some of y'all, it ended as quickly as it started. Um, Spirit's message, though, is on the horizon. On the horizon. So something new is going to be coming in for you guys. You just have to be patient, you know, be committed to the process, but also be committed to self-love and self-care at this point in time. There's a season for everything. And right now may not be the season to be in a relationship, right? It's okay to be single. It is okay to be single and tell yourself that you are bad regardless of, and I mean bad in a good way, <laughs> right? But, um, you know, regardless of whether or not you're with a person or in a connection or entertaining someone you are still a bad you know what, okay? This person was a karmic lover. This was a karmic lover. And Spirit wants you to know that. Like, this was not, um, for a lot of you all, this was a twin flame connection. Um, which is why, whew, it was hot and heavy to begin with. You two had an instant attraction, instant chemistry as soon as you met. But eventually, it shit fell to pieces, right? Because... You know, maybe this person wasn't clear about their intentions. Look, we have secret rendezvous. Secret rendezvous. This person may have liked the thrill of the chase of being with you or vice versa, right? If you're masculine or feminine, this message applies to you, okay? Whether you're masculine or feminine, it doesn't matter. But this person may have liked the idea of being with you. You know, some people are in love with the idea of being in love. But when it comes to the responsibility and the accountability that's associated with having a true connection or relationship, they run from it. And I feel like you had a runner. Some of y'all were dealing with a runner. All right. So show me, show me the past. The past history between my singles and the ex. Yeah. We have fallen angel meant to be. So for some of you guys who were dealing with someone that was um, not spiritually in line with the divine. And so the divine had to move them on out of the way. Fallen angel. Fall, a fallen angel refers to someone that is of um, a low vibrational energy, possibly demonic. I'm just saying. Curious, wondering eyes. Mm -hmm. This person was very much led by feelings of lust instead of love and because you felt that instant you know that instant attraction for a lot of you you may have felt that it was meant to be the spirit said mm -mm. 
He's a fallen angel, or she is, right? Doesn't matter, like I said, reverse the roles where needed to be. We got fool, we got user. This person may have played you for a fool. They may have played they may have played you for boo-boo the fool. Cause they thought that you could they could use you. And for some of you, they were using you. They were using you. Because they felt like, man, she ain't she ain't gonna say no. Or he ain't gonna say no. He gonna give me the money. We have hidden emotions. Some of you may have uh, tried and tried to get this person to express their feelings for you and they just refused to. They were very close off, distant, cold hearted towards you, like only when it came to them, when it was convenient for them would they communicate with you, right? They weren't willing to take the relationship to the next level. That's why I said that they were they were playing you for the fool. I'm not saying you are the fool. I'm saying that they, they tried to use you. They tried to play you as such, okay? Let me clarify that. They they tried to, but I feel like you guys, y'all peeped game and said, cut it, right? When she realized that it wasn't going where you where you wanted it to go and it was stressing you out and, and things were on the rocks between you, you was like, you know what? I'm done, right? Look, and we had twin flame, twin flame. Like I said, that, that, you know, that chemistry is magnetic. It's immediate. It's like, it's like, right? Moth to a flame. That's the energy. Let's see. All right, so what's coming in for what's coming in for my single collective? So you're showing the messages. What is coming in? Y'all, if you hear noise, please excuse my bunny. He's out. He's out and he's getting into things. So I'm apologizing in advance. All right, so show me the messages, please, for the collective. My singles collective. What's coming in for my singles collective? See, I told y'all, he just jumped in the box. What's coming in from my, my singles collective, please, for your shopping messages? All right, so we have strength. Yeah, it's time for y'all to step into your power. Yes, I love it. So a lot of you all are learning to really set healthy boundaries. And now you know. If you didn't know, now you know, right? You know very well who you are juicy yeah so a lot of y'all are stepping into your power and you're setting healthy boundaries when it comes to relationships you know you know what you want you know what you don't want and you know your worth or you're starting to know your worth right a lot of you are focused on your happiness right now yes knight of wands you're going towards your passions i love this this could definitely be in career some of you could have some type of um, career in the arts. Some of you could be a nail technician, a hairstylist, a barber. Um, you know, if you're a guy, some of you could be, uh, what am I getting here? This is, uh, this is fire energy. Yeah, some of you could be an outside sales rep, inside sales rep, the person, the main person for sales um, in whatever department you work in. Um, I'm feeling like someone could be an architect, like y'all are really focused on where you're headed, you know, as far as goals and like financial goals and achievements. A lot of y'all are focused on building your credit. Like I said, strength entails so much finding your inner strength, knowing where, knowing what you want and not settling for anything less than that. And that's a beautiful energy and spirit says continue to do so continue to stand in your power. Cause that's Leo energy there with the strength card, seven of cups. Options are going to be coming in, okay? Multiple options. Don't be fooled by what you see, Spirit said, because all that glitters is not gold. Everything that glitters is not gold, right? Things are not always as they appear, so make sure that you inspect. Like the person holding this diamond right here, make sure it's not a cubic zirconia, okay? Make sure it's not a cubic zir zirconia. Make sure it's a real diamond, right? <clears throat> Otherwise, you'll end up stressed out. I had the ten of wands on the bottom of the deck. Yeah, some of you have completed a car you have completed a karmic cycle. Like I said, for a lot of you in the past singles, you've dealt with someone who was a karmic lover. This person put you through the ringer. They may have had baby mamas, and I do not like using that term, but I'm just keeping it real here. Some of them may have had. <laughs> They may have had children with multiple women. Let's let's say that because that sounds better. 
kind of. <laughs> anyway, y'all know what I'm trying to say. Third party situations. This person may not have been financially stable. They could have been staying with their mom. Mm -hmm. Grown ass. Staying with their mom, not able to afford stuff, not able to properly court and date you or be able to afford things that are of your taste for some of you. But Spirit is saying that that cycle has closed out. So there's going to be a new opportunity with the wheel. This is about a new opportunity. Things changing in your favor. Because y'all are strong. I got King Wands at the bottom of the deck. Hey, Yes, there's about to be a new cycle. Booyah in love. The lovers is here. And I feel like this winter, a lot of you will be meeting your soulmate. Because this is soulmate energy here with the Gemini card. So a lot of y'all from now, probably till early January, will be meeting your divine counterpart. I'm just saying. Some of you may be meeting a Sagittarius. The Temperance is here on the bottom of the deck. Um, let's see. What else is coming in for the singles, please? We have the Empress. Um, some of you, <laughs> somebody is, somebody going to get pregnant. The Empress is here. I keep seeing the Empress. Um, if you're not trying to. Y'all know what to do. Y'all grow. Just take just take precautionary measures if you're not trying to get pregnant. Somebody's very fertile. I don't know if it's you or the person who's coming towards you, but somebody is really fertile. <laughs> so if you know you're really fertile, right, and you ain't trying to handle babies, then do what you need to do. We have five of wands. I feel like for a lot of you, um, this person, this new person who's going to be coming in, they may be a little bit jealous of you. Like, they may have, like, that possessive. This is fire energy. Okay, five of wands. Let me show y'all. Right? But, yeah, this person's going to come to you. Page of Pentacles. They're going to reach out. This is going to be a new opportunity for you guys to um, let go. You know, let go of the past with the hangman here and move on. Move on from the past because new love wants you. They want you. A single page of cups. New love. This person is going to reach out to you. They're going to communicate and let you know, hey, let's go. Let me buy you a drink. Okay, T-Pain. Three of cups. But yeah, this, this, okay, y'all. This person, King of Pentacles, this person has their shit together. Okay, we, we, yeah. So I'm loving this already. Yep, and this is, this person's going to come in pretty fast. Like, I feel like if this person is an air sign, they're going to let you just know. Like, hey, I got feelings for you. Let's see where we can go. Um, do you want to go out sometime? They're just going to be straightforward about it. Just when you were just like, you know what, damn it, I'm done with love. I'm not, I'm not doing this again. Right? Um, what's that song that's coming to my mind? My heart said no, no. Nobody's supposed to be here. I tried that love thing for the last time. Yeah. So some of y'all have been distant. Y'all have been very distant and closed off. So collective. You got to open up that heart chakra, beautifuls. You got to open up that heart chakra. You have to be receptive to new love if you're trying to manifest it, right? So whatever it is that you need to heal, heal, boo. Heal it. But don't let it hinder you. Heal it. Don't let it hinder you. Okay? Remember that. Five of Cups. Five of Cups. Some of y'all have been distant because of the past hurt, the regret, feeling alone because you were owed an apology, apology from by this person. But look, where it says all the wrongs will be made right. Karma going to come and tap that ass. So whoever's wronged you in the past, trust and believe that the most high, the universe, spirit, however you identify, is going to take care of the situation for you. You don't have to do anything. You ain't got to worry about nothing. Nine of Swords. Nine of Swords. Yeah, some of y'all are overthinking. And that's what Spirit is saying is blocking you. You're overthinking. You're still sad about what happened in the past. You have to release that energy. You have to release in order to receive. That's how the law of attraction works. All right? Do one more. What's coming in for my collective singles? High Priestess. Advice. So this is Spirit's advice, right? My last card. High Priestess. Use your intuition. That gut feeling right and common sense that god gave a goose when you're dating to figure out is this person of satan we have the devil here what are their energies what are they bringing to me what do i feel when i'm around this person 
Is this lust or is it love? That's the question to ask yourself. But new love is coming towards you singles. So stay positive and stay optimistic. Let's get some um, advice from the romance angels. Let's see what it do. All right, Spirit Universe, show me the messages for the collective. What messages do you have for the collective advice and love? Let's see. Hang on, y'all. Look. Calling in your soulmate, right? What did I tell y'all with the lover's card, right? I don't want nobody else. <laughs> I only want you to love. Yeah. What's the advice, Spirit? Okay. Yep. Healing family issues. Calling in your soulmate. So you got to heal in order. Yeah. Because you, a lot of y'all were in an unrequited love situation. You were doing too much. You were giving, overexerting yourself. That's why you were stressed up here. Mm-mm. Bruh. Mm-mm. Sis. Mm -mm. No, 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 no. If it's stressing you out, let it go. We have pay attention to the red flags. Like I said, use your intuition. Use your judgment and discernment when you're dating. When you're courting people, take your time. There is no rush. There's no rush. Calling in your soulmate. So focus on manifesting new love if that's what you truly desire. So it says your, your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you two together. So by you working on yourself, building up your empire, Building your financial self, your spiritual self, right? Building your emotional self and healing from the hurt that you've had in the past, healing family issues, your love life benefits, right? As you forgive, as you release so that you can receive. We have unrequited love. So heal from this unrequited love, Spirit is saying. Because you, you failed to pay attention to the red flags for some of us, right? In the past, that's what happened. So Spirit is saying, you know what? Boo-boo, get up. Get up off the ground, wipe them tears, and keep going right pay attention this time pay attention pay attention to who's doing what making the effort make ding 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 ding, ding. action right lights camera action the show is on so make sure once this person comes in collective that this person is actually reciprocating the energy that you're bringing to the table is this person willing to do the things that you're asking for them to do you're not asking for much by asking for someone to respond to you when you text them or call them or having them call you I don't like this energy of just texting. You know what I mean? It's childish to me. Why can't you pick up the phone and call me? Or why can't you schedule a time for us to meet face to face and have a conversation that's called a date? It's called an appointment, right? An arrangement. So why can't we do that as grownups? You see what I'm saying? I mean, texting is great, but texting doesn't allow you to really fully get to know the person that you're dealing with. So keep that in mind, collective, when you're dating. Okay, if they can't call you and you can't see their face in person, especially, let me just throw this out there for those of you who are into online dating. If you're online dating and the person is refusing to actually FaceTime you or Skype you, right, or video chat on WhatsApp, you can't see this person, question the authenticity because it's probably a damn scanner, scammer, scam artist. Let go of control issues, okay? Allow the situation to unfold naturally it's very saying once you've prayed about it and you know that you've let go of whatever happened in the past now be ready to just let this let the love come to you right but you deserve love you are lovable know that you are enough you are beautiful you're handsome you're intelligent you are worth everything that your your heart desires you are worth it right right earned it right you make it look like it's magic <laughs> for yourself for yourself it's time to take back control of your life and we have finances and career so for some of y'all y'all were with a scrub in the past somebody who was not on your level financially so make sure that you have someone that can protect provide and profess their love for you the three p's protect provide and profess their love right so that's been your reading collective. If you'd like to book a personal reading with me, especially a love and relationship reading, go to my website, AquarianEmpressTarot.net. Use the code NOVEMBER2020. It's 50% off. This is the last week for personal readings because I will be taking a break next week for the holidays. All right, lovelies. Until next time, love you guys.